4K TV is the newest revolution in TV technology. I'm Erin, and this time on the blog, we're taking a look at this. It's the Insignia Roku Smart LED TV. This is the 50 inch size, and uh, it's a pretty great size. So if you're new to 4K technology, it's all about the pixels. 4K basically stands for 4,000, and there's 4,000 pixels running horizontally across this screen. So that's millions more pixels than you can get in the next best TV available, which is a 1080p TV. So to put that in kind of visual terms, manufacturers are now cramming as many pixels as there are in a 1080p TV in about a quarter of the size of this screen. If you do the math, that gives you about 8 million total pixels on the screen. The thing about a 4K TV is you need to enjoy 4K content on it, otherwise you're not getting the most out of the big TV you just invested in. So you're going to want to make sure you have access to 4K content. You can do that in a couple of ways. One of them is to access the streaming channels, and Roku's made this really easy by adding a 4K content channel. So you don't need to necessarily go into YouTube or Netflix and hunt down what's available in 4K. You can check out the 4K content available on these platforms right from within the TV. The other thing you'll want to do is invest in something like a 4K Blu-ray player. This Samsung one is one that I've been testing with the TV and it gives me access to 4K movies anytime I want to watch them. So how good is the video quality on a 4K TV? Well, to be honest, it's kind of hard to show you because I'm shooting it with my HD iPhone, so it's hard to replicate it for you exactly. But let me tell you this, the colors are really vivid, the lines, particularly with graphics and words, are super sharp, there's no motion blur, and the detail you get is absolutely stunning. Depending on what you're watching, a lot of these videos look like you could just reach out and reach right through the screen and touch what's there. It's really a big difference in quality. The level of detail you're going to get in a 4K TV is also something you just can't get in a 1080p. Things like individual rocks or grains of dirt, crumbs on a table, even tiny ripples in a sandscape. You can't talk about 4K TV without talking about viewing distances. For most people, their TVs are all the way across the room from their couches. And with these TVs, that's going to be a bit too far. That distance right there is about 10 feet. And I have to say, when I was watching the TV, it was really hard to get a feel and an appreciation for the level of detail that you get in this screen from all the way over there. Move the TV a bit closer to the couch, and that seemed to help as well. But I have to say, I got the most pleasure out of watching this TV from really about three or four feet away. For a lot of people, that's going to be rearranging your living room, but it's definitely something you're going to have to consider if you're going to upgrade to 4K. Thanks for watching this video. If you did like it, I hope you'll like it on YouTube and consider subscribing so you can get other great videos as well. If you have any questions, you can reach me on Twitter or Instagram at ErinLYYC. And don't forget to read the full written review of this TV on the Best Buy plugin blog.